This is one of the fields that we leave unmowed um, until after the blue-eyed flower grasses bloom and then we will kind of mow it down. We have a friend that is going to look to do a cover crop over the winter to kind of help to repair the soil because a lot of the ground is um, all subsoil, not topsoil, but great for the wildflowers and clovers and things like that. So all the pollinator friendly plants that we love. And um, our hope too is to create um, a bit of a habitat with the tall grasses um, for those nesting birds that really need um, a field of of vegetation to feel safe and and nest in. Um, so that's kind of our goal with um, either this section or one of the fields that we have in the future. But over there you can see the cedar house. That's where uh, we're working on putting in a door and some screens so you could do a stay over retreat. There's uh, two bed in there for or sleeping platforms. And then behind that, we have a compost. And then we have some St. John's wort. It's the solstice is about, it's about to bloom. It will see the little flowers about to burst there. But this is our St. John's wort. Again, it seeded itself. And there's a bunch of it around the gardens and different sites. Some mugwort there. Uh, behind that hedge on that telephone post is uh, the bat box that we put up. Very exciting. Hopefully we'll have some some bats. <laughs> and this, as some of you already know, is our turtle pond. Named after Neptune, who we rescued with the help of friends um, last February. And this is a kind of a new extension there, the rock garden there. And he's, Colin's been digging away and planting up some of the bog garden just beyond. I don't know if I've made the official announcement yet on video, but we now have five baby painted turtles. Three that moved in last year that came back that we call Ooh, maybe I can get, it. oh, it was just there in the water. Oh, it's in the deep end. Um, Niso and Galatea and Triton. So we named all the babies after the, the moons on Neptune. And then we have two more teeny tiny ones. I just saw one <laughs> and it saw me and it darted for the bottom muck here. <laughs> so it'll be amazing if it comes back out in the time, but Right now, even we have lots of tadpoles in the water. Very exciting. I think those might be from the tree frogs. This is my time warp place. I come here after lunch usually and just lose track of time. It's very peaceful. And you're invited to come here too. And if you sit still, if you sit still long enough, nature has a way of revealing itself to you. So let yourself be still and just see what happens. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hummingbird darting around to all the blue irises oh, and just flew off. <laughs> That's one of the attractions to Turtle Pond. <laughs> 